Fox 12 is helping your kids head back to school, and this morning we're talking about school lunch. It can be a real stressor trying to pack it up and get the little ones out the door. Our Nora Hart took a trip to the grocery store with a financial expert to learn some money-saving tips and tricks. We're here in Fred Meyer. I brought along Lillian Carebake with OPB. She is a financial journalist, and I think that a lot of people can relate to this. You got the school supplies, okay, check. Next on the list, you gotta start thinking about school lunches. They can be expensive, stressful, and sometimes you just grab the first thing you see because it, it can be anxiety inducing for parents. So what tips do you have to save some money? Well, I do think grabbing the first thing you have, we all do it at some point. You're gonna have one of those school run days where you're like, hello, here is an apple and two apple sauces and I hope that <laughs> you can eat food today. Um, but a little bit of planning ahead can make a huge difference and you don't have to get special things for school lunches. I think there's a lot of folks that get stressed out and think they have to have the Pinterest perfect lunches for their kids. Kids just wanna eat food. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so, you know, finding what you already have in your house and then just portioning it down into smaller amounts. If you do want to get some of those grab and go things for those really stressful mornings, mm -hmm. look for when they're on sale. Okay, so, it's so, sort of like this over yeah, here. Yeah, sort of like this. Like these small bags of chips, it's always going to be cheaper to buy one of the big bags and portion it out into little Ziploc bags, even the little silicone ones, mm -hmm. if you know your kid will actually bring them home from school. Sure. Um, but. These things are good to have as a backup rather than your main plan. Okay. Um, so buy them when they're on sale. Shop the sales for these kind of smaller prepackaged things like tiny apple juices. Uh, the rest of the time, shop what you already have and think about ways to portion it out. Okay. When you're, you know, Lunchables, Everybody loves a good Lunchable. Right. They look really cute. They're like kid charcuterie boards. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Kid charcuterie boards. Turns out that most of those ingredients are going to be a lot cheaper if you buy them in bulk. You can just figure out what's in one of those lunch kits. Figure it out. Portion it out. It'll be just as fast to put together. Okay. And that's a good tip. A lot cheaper. And then this is one of the biggest tips I think when it comes to if you've got kids and going to the grocery store. Anybody with young kids knows it's really hard to get through the grocery store efficiently. Yes. Sit down, plan ahead, shop the sales. You can do everything online and then just order for pickup. And then you're yes. not stuck into the impulse buy of buying things when you're wandering through the that, store. That's genius. Like I am having flashbacks to my four-year-old son, mommy, can I please have this? Can I please have that? And just to <laughs> make the volume stop, sure. It goes in. You're like, can I just get out of the store? Yeah, yes. it makes a huge difference. And a lot of places will actually offer you a discount if you're doing pickup. Um, and that particularly happens around the back to school season. Okay, thanks so much, Lillian. Thank you.